This is how you can fill out form on your iPhone from email. So whenever you just notice that you have an attachment, like a form which you want to fill out, this is what you need to do. You need to get a third party app for this. So I recommend you to get this one called the Jet Sign, but there is one from Adobe. There is like another third party one if you want to try out those, but this is the one which I personally used and it worked well. So I'm going to just show it to you right now. So you just download the app, go through the setup process and just make sure that, you know, you go through the initial setup. And once you are done, you can head over to your email and locate any sort of form or any attachment which you want to fill out and edit. You're going to click on it and you need to tap on the share icon. There are going to be a bunch of apps from the selection to let you pick them and use the document inside of that app. So we want to find the newly downloaded JetSign application. If it's not immediately available or visible there, you can tap on the more option at the end of the scrollable list. And this will show you additional apps which you can pick from. Then it should definitely show up in the list selection. So tap on it and in this very same document, it's going to be opened up inside of that app using which you can tap on individual text fields and add date, information like text, check marks, signature, and you can go just bracket by bracket and import and fill out the information that you need. After you are done, of course, make sure you sign it. This allows you to use your finger to sign with your actual signature. But once you are done, you can tap on complete and this allows you to send that filled out form directly through email or save it, download it to your files app of choice and just keep it on your device. So that's how it works. As I say, there are more options for this type of application, but this one just works. So I don't see any reason and not recommended. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more tutorials and videos where I just go directly at the topic, trying to help you out with what I can, and then subscribe to this channel so you never miss tutorials like this. And thank you for watching. <laughs>